I'm thrilled to, um, well, I, you know, I'm an egomaniac. So when I got the call and they said, would you like to be Hampstead's number one son for the day? Right, right. <laughs> um, I was very pleased. So, you know, um, and I'm so pleased so many people have come out. I know a lot of people are having work done on their homes, so they're obviously taking some time out for that. Um, rescheduled some Ocado deliveries. Um, but, you know, here we are in uh, a place I've always wanted to live. And I used to come here when it was the Dome. I saw Jurgen Klinsmann here when it was the this. dome. I remember I got dome. Sol Campbell's yes. autograph in this dome. Yes, yes. He wasn't that friendly. Um, but anyway, um, no, you know, I mean, come, that used to be our price, not Vodafone. No, I'm old school right. Hampstead. Um, so yes, I'm very pleased to cut back to my old stomping ground. Where I used to try, I used to hang out on street corners when I was a teenager with my, you know, are we going to go to Hampstead? Who's going to Hampstead? And you just stand there, nothing's open. You just stand there hoping that girls will come over. They never came over. But I found one in the end! I live with her. Um, which is all available in my book. Oh, water's down! Uh, but I'm going to switch the lights on now. It can be very embarrassing. My children are here, and what if, what if it's embarrassing? I just walked past David Badil, he went, I did it last year. My microphone didn't work. And then he was sort of ushered away. And then they told me that it's not even a real switch. It's a pretend switch, because they can't... What if I press the wrong thing and it blows up? So there's a secret Camden Council guy hiding underneath the stage who's actually going to do the lights. Well, that's very annoying. I'm not even going to turn the lights on. So anyway, I'm going to say too much here and be very boring over there, and then I won't be allowed to come back. Um, but just the risk, you know, that's the risk. Well, thank you for coming. Well, thank you for putting together such a lovely day that my children have, have, have enjoyed. And um, I'm pleased that my family is still together at the end of the day, because that's my major worry is that one of the children gets lost. But we're all happy, we're all safe, and let's hope we have a lovely day and a lovely Christmas. For a predominantly Jewish area, you sure know how to throw a good Christmas. <laughs> Fantastic, thank you. Well done. Mike, Mike, also you. you. But you talk the talk. No, I oh, certainly do. Thank Shall you for sponsoring this event. It was a pleasure. We are hoping very much, if you'd be so kind, to mention that Savills and sponsor the lights. Savills, one of my favourite estate agents in the world, alongside Knight Frank, yeah. Hamptons, <laughs> and anyone else who might be selling a house at the time that I'm interested in, Clever has boy. very ple gladly sponsored this wonderful event. Without Savills, who are obviously doing better than Knight Frank, Hamptons, Marcus <laughs> Barfit, etc., because they're the ones that stomped up the cash. The ones, Fight the recession, Savills. They're the ones who are trying to be part of the community. Yeah. Pa sorry, part of the community. Thank you so much. A, bit, a, a very big thank you uh, to Savills for putting that on. Yay! Are you going to say that on the stage, aren't you? No. Oh, you're not? No. Well, so, no, of course I will. I'll thank you. No, I'll tell everybody that if they're selling their house, you should have a first look around. OK, can you say yeah. hello to my daughter, Katie? Hi, how are you? Michael, what a pleasure. My hands are cold because I've been freezing them. He's got a very warm heart. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, thanks, you. Let's, no. let's hope it's fun.